instead of me just lifting my arm into position like this, like the classic L position, I don't want to break my hands and just lift. It's a combination of my hand going down, pulling back. So again, from this direction here, you can see my shoulder blades really pinch. So it's like I'm pulling my shoulder blades together as far as I can go. This is called, what they call this a scap load. Your scapula, which are your shoulder blades, are loading. They're pulling together, they're, they're sort of activating as muscles, right? Muscles can contract or they can relax. Your scaps are contracting, so they're loading. So the scap load is important because basically what it does is it sort of hitches the arm up with the train of your upper body. So your lower body starts and that produces your power to begin with. After that, the hips start to rotate and then that power is transferred through the core and then it's transferred to the arm. But when it's time for it to get transferred to the arm, the shoulder blades have to be pulled back. They 